going down to the lobby, sir? Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a final one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Sir! Sir! Huh? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> you want to be a Space Ranger too? Prefer to keep my feet on the ground. Whoa, Welcome to this! The Space Ranger HQ! Going. You'll be able Our to mission today is a final one, now. and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy! The Gilgamesh army is a massive of these star cruisers on the dark side. Greetings, recruit. Here to exchange points. Make us proud, Space Ranger. Your actions will decide not only the outcome of this war, but the fate of the galaxy. The Space Ranger is recruited by the Gilgamesh army to serve as their sword in the fight for galactic Ready for blast off, Ranger?
your feet off the ground, mister. Many formidable teams stand in our way. You and your squadron will lead our assault and break through the enemy defensive lines. From there, you will see... Where would you like to go, Kubo? In a big destroyer trade flagship. Your actions will decide not only the outcome of this war, but the fate of the galaxy. Space Rangers, ho! and breeding, I think the choice is clear. Welcome to Chocobo Square, Koopa! The racing birds here are at Chocobo Square! Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack! Do you currently have a membership with us, sir? No, 
Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid our services are for members only. Oh, man. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. Interested in joining the fray?
not looking good. Shaky. This one's for you. You okay? How shocking! Bless them with your love and grace. Give us a holler when you want to throw down. You seem to be feeling better. Yeah. You just chilling here, or...? I'm hiding. Some children mistook me for a mascot. They wanted a photo with me.
stacks up against the real thing.
come crawling out of your room eventually. I mean, seriously, who could resist the siren song of the saucer? You alone? Yeah, got a little sidetracked and wound up losing the others. You know, you could tag along with us. And be a third wheel? No thanks, I know when I'm not wanted. Hey there! Got a big pile of points to trade me? That's Jessie. She died fighting for Avalanche. You know she was an actress? Yeah. She was a good friend. Not that I deserved one. Just a friend? Or a girlfriend? You can be pretty dense when it comes to that kind of stuff. She gave as good as she got. Never cut me any slack. And yeah. Just a friend. Sure was that black and white? I don't follow. You, young man, still have a lot to learn. Right? Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Guess they're done for the day, huh? Bummer. Just think, your friend used to perform on this very stage. Yeah. Would have been fun to see. <laughs> Saucer, great news! Skywheel Square is now welcoming all interested park guests. Join us on a journey through the clouds where you'll be able to take in the splendor of our fabulous park. If you in the VIP seats, one day I'm gonna be singing on that stage. 
Well, look who it is. It's been a while. I must say, your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. The stage calls to you, begs for you to bear your soul upon it. What are you doing out here? The park director requires my talents for a show. Huh. My fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart. I repeat, advanced tickets for tonight's performance have sold out. One hour before the show. Please line up here to wait. Too bad our stage is too small for them. But the real problem is us. We can't do your characters justice. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. Come on, let's get in line. <laughs> What's going on? I... Uh, I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks! Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. <sighs> Cloud! We've got trouble! Oh, hi, little guy. What is it? Get to the Coliseum! On the double! Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose! That can't be true, can it? Let's go find out. Destination. 
I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring! No, uh, excuse me. Please go, please. What the f Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Found a place. I need you to step back, please. Report back to the director once more. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. With an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. <sighs> Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you'd care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like.
place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top, where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Market, maybe. Mercury, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. <laughs> Shit. Oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That bear is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Right, 
Help! Help us out! Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of him. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh -uh. that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Yeah. Later. All right, Mr. Merc. Let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. See how far you get. your new champ hmm. he's all yours so you're cloud the merc <laughs> can't say i was expecting someone so pretty pretty shrimp i'm esther chocobo wrangler pleasure wait cloud aren't you that kid from the ranch well hang on you two know each other what happened we were making our way to the saucer for pico's racing debut when these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. <laughs> 